Hello you magical people welcome back on salt and sugar saga and today's recipe is enriched with so many nutrients and protein to kick start your mornings so here we have lentil stuffed parathas so the lentil i'm using is moong dal green moong dal is full of protein and nutrients so i have soaked this and i'm going to pressure cook it with water followed by turmeric and salt so i'm going to pressure cook it for 3 whistles or until it is soft So while my lentils are cooking, let's prepare the dough. So dough for uh, for dough, I have taken whole wheat flour, some salt, and uh, with the help of water, I'm gonna knead it. And now let it rest for ten minutes. Let's check on the dal. The dal seems done. Now let's prepare the tempering of the dal so that we can stuff it with lot of flavors. So I have taken some oil followed by cumin seeds, asafoetida, red chili powder, cumin powder, coriander powder and we're going to saute them. Now we're going to add some ginger paste and green chili paste. Now I'll add my lentils and uh, to give a sourness, I'm going to add mango powder and garam masala. So the stuffing is all ready not without salt so it's add salt according to your taste. So yes, now it's time to knead our dough one last time. So I have greased my hand. I'm going to knead it really well so that my dough is nice and smooth. So with the help of dry flour, I'm going to roll it. I've taken a good portion of dough and I'm going to smooth it out between my palms and I'm going to roll it with the help of dry flour in a very thick chapati. So now I'm going to generously stuff with the lentil and I'm going to pull the sides and seal it. And do remove the extra dough you'll get. Okay, now again with the help of dry flour, I'm going to roll it in a thick chapati, at least thicker than normal chapati. You need to do it with very light hands. Do not use your muscles to do this. Okay, so upside down, put it on the preheated pan and cook it until it's nice crisp brown. So the choice is up to you. If you want to dry roast it, it will taste very good but i like my parathas in ghee or butter so i'll take some ghee or oil to roast my parathas so here i have my parathas done time to serve guys if you haven't subscribed yet you can see a logo on salt and sugar saga on your screen do subscribe take care bye bye keep watching salt and sugar saga